you guys have been here for a while, and you still got more, more than me. Uh, you got more, and uh, Amber and Am and uh, and her mom Bonnie are, are going to be uh, performing for you. If you saw them play together in the thing, so. Anyway, I'm gonna do this one. I, this is really good. I did, there was a little excerpt of this, uh, and this one I've done around the country, and thinking no one's gonna get this one here, but I do it because I love it, and because uh, it's it's a poem for the best donut shop that ever existed. Uh, which, for those of you who live here, you know the one I'm talking about. It was Hunt's down on 20th and Mission. Sadly, no longer with us. Um, Hunt's was the seediest, nastiest, most crime-ridden donut shop ever, and it was also awesome. And uh, I love that place, and so I wrote an LG poem, um, and uh, I I named it LG for the old Hunt's as kind of a, in a way just because it is LG, and then also because I used to uh, I, I one of my favorite local books was this book called LG for the Old Stud, so. Written by David West, and uh, he's awesome. And uh, anyway, and so I wrote down you for the old hunts because that was my hangout. Anyway, this is it. There's a legend in the mission that if you write your wishes really small on a piece of paper and are the first one to stick it in a fresh bullet hole, all your dreams will come true. <laughs> There's a hole on Mission Street where the donut shop used to be. The sign outside said, open 25 hours. <laughs> the sign inside said, these premises are not to be used for the buying or selling of stolen merchandise. <laughs> Anytime, day or night, you can find a gold chain, a bear claw, a bicycle seat, an eclair, DVDs, chocolate covered old fashions, CDs, buttermilk bars. Outside, old men shot craps. Crackhead magpies exchanged shiny treasure for dollar bills. And young men tried to look older. She stole my heart. And nine months later, she stole the rest of my shit. I came home and everything was gone. She'd taken everything, even the food. But I took a look for my hidden stash, still there. So I rolled me a joint the size of your pinky. And shortly thereafter, I came down to Hunt's for some snacks. I picked out a bear claw when I spotted my eight track on a table by the window. That was Slow Charlie selling all my shit. Now we called him Slow Charlie on account of the way he talked. Not on account of the way he used a razor. So I knew I had to play it cool, just shut up and buy all my shit back. So I bought back my 8-track, my hi-fi, my record player, my color TV, and the clicker, my Power Man comics, my Iceberg Slim novels, and then would you believe it, I see my own motherfucking heart lying right there on the Formica. I said, say so, Charlie, I'm cool buying all my shit back, but you gotta cut me a break on this here heart now. I can't pay you full price, because I know for a fact this heart is broke and stolen. Slow Charlie takes his damn time, his mouth moving slower than Christmas on a leap year. He says, Sir, you got a heart that ain't been broke. I'll tell you to go to hell. Say you got a heart that ain't been stole, and I'll steal that shit myself. I said, say now, Slow Charlie, don't give me that street rap. It's true because it rhymes bullshit. <laughs> and then I saw him twitching like he did that night in Nap's bar, and I said, it's cool, baby, it's cool. <laughs> But I was out of cash. I had to go home. So I put that bear claw in the hole where my heart should have been. But that night, every time I thought of my ex-girlfriend, I gained four ounces. <laughs> that first month I was sober, I'd wake up like a sandbag was dropped in my gut. All I could think was whiskey, 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 whiskey. It was a liquor store or a donut shop. Hunt was always on the way to the liquor store, and it always stopped me. In the 25th hour, if you looked through a donut hole and out the window, you could see across space and time. One night I was there in the 25th hour, 
I looked out into the 40s. I saw GIs cruising the Miracle Mile under the theater lights. And I looked into the 70s and I saw the lowriders bumper to bumper. And then I looked into 1989 and saw myself walking by. I banged on the window and started yelling out, Bet on the A's in four! Buy all the Microsoft and Walmart stock again! <laughs> and hey, dumbass, she's right in front of you. Don't think so hard, just let it happen. And right as 1989 me turned around and mouth, what? <laughs> the 25th hour was up. When there was no more room in hell, the dead came to hunt. The junkies were the sugar jones, the young vatos looking for a break, the heartbroken drunks from the bars, the Iggy and Ivy doing midnight homework. There were cops and crackheads, yuppies and bums, the cool, the trendy, and the clueless. All of us needed a donut sometimes. The night they got at hunts, I stood outside the gaping hall thinking, where will we go? There's a hole in my heart where the donut shop used to be. Hunts was a place where it was socially acceptable to cry at 4 a.m. No one ever asked me what was wrong. I had this dream that all my ex-girlfriends formed a gang and did a drive-by on me as I was leaving Hunts. <laughs> the last thing I did before I woke up was to write this poem really small on a piece of paper and stuck it in the bullet hole where my heart should have been. <laughs>